Get Warrior Tough, Mental Training 101 with Andrew Whitman and Dutch Coleman. And now back to Andrew and Dutch. All right, we're back at it, back in the saddle. Dutch and Andrew, Andrew and Dutch here on the Get Warrior Tough radio show. If you want to reach out to us on the Twitter, use the hashtag Get Warrior Tough. You can find Dutch at the Dutch Coleman. I'm at Warrior Tough PhD. Of course, the website is GetWarriorTough.com. All right, Dutch, it's the Happy Valentine's Day radio show special here at the Get Warrior Tough Network. And we were talking about the last thing I said before we went to break was acts of service, right? It was one of the great ways to show love and appreciation for your significant other. You know, you know, and I know there's a lot of different things that may be going through people's minds with that, but it, it's, it, it, there's a million different things. I mean, it's very simple. It's very straightforward. It could be a, the number of things that you named um, from taking care of things around the house, you know, maybe picking up, you know, your wife's dry cleaning um, yep. because she couldn't, uh, I'm giving her a massage, just telling her to relax because you took care of this and that. You know, maybe you got a babysitter for the kids one night and you guys kind of either went out or you kind of got to just relax on the couch and watch TV. You know, taking care of some of those things ahead of time that you, that you take off your wife's plate um, that she may um, usually have to do. And there's so many different things, but the key is that, that there are physical things that you can do. A lot of people think that that we in the relationship are supposed to just know or assume because you said it that one time. Yeah, that one time. You know, <laughs> Remember that one time I told you I loved you. <laughs> right. So, so there, there are things, you, and, and I'm not saying that that we shouldn't, we shouldn't know, we shouldn't trust that our spouses love us and all those things. But at the same time, there are things that we can do, and that's what we want to focus on. It and, and right here in this part is, it, it, you know, I always say this: get up, get out, and, and get something. Do something. You know, put your hands on something. You know, uh, um, make a move. You know, it's not just about assumptions. It's not just about the mental. It's not about that. Right, and, it's, and I'll say it, it's not just about love either. It's about showing appreciation. Perfect. Like not Absolutely. taking for granted, you know, not, and, and mm. showing consideration. Like these are all great words, right? But being yes. considerate, right? Like stop thinking about you and just your myopic thing for a second. Think about them first, right? Mm. Think about, you know, when I see something that reminds me of my wife, I can't wait. Like it's a, I mean, it would be something silly, like, I said something silly is I she likes those little spoons, you know what I mean? She collects those little teaspoons, you know what I'm talking about, the souvenir spoons. It's harder <laughs> and harder to find those things. But uh I you know, when I travel, I'm like I'm as in Petra Jordan and I mean I'm like, you know, traversing the the what is it the what's the camel train? It was a caravan of camels or whatever. I'm going halfway <laughs> across the desert to find a handmade silver spoon, right? And uh <laughs> Right, and I found her one. I was so excited. Uh, that thing ended up in the garbage disposal and got mangled, man. It was awful because I don't know when I'll get back by that way again. But <laughs> see, but I was thinking about her, and it was like, right, right. you know. And then I've had, listen, I have new guys that were like, hey, baby, I thought about buying that spoon in Jordan. It's a thought that counts. Anyway, right, right. I thought about you. Like, no, man. Like, you got to follow through on that. You can't just be like, I thought about you. Like, think about them, but then... Like you said, you got to get moving and do something to back that up, right? You know, yeah. and, and you got to make the decision of how important is it. You know, we're talking about all we always talk about in our in our culture, talking about setting targets, right? So if the if the target is making them happy, is the target is showing them how much you love them, then hey, man, almost you know anything's worth it, right? But that's a that's a pretty good target. I mean, that's a yeah, and showing appreciation, um, pretty that's admirable a, target. Yeah, it's a great and, thing. So when you're thinking about these things. Right, because we know how the mind works. 11 million bits of information per second down to the 126 consciously. When you're squeezing and you're consciously focusing on um, how do I show my appreciation? How can I be considerate? How can I show my love? Them? How, what acts of service can I do? What, you, then you're not thinking about the way she squeezes the toothpaste tube or hangs the toilet paper just to stick it to you. Right, right. right. Yeah. So... And I brought that up because, you know, when I first got married, you know, I was trying to be a good, good husband, but um, I'm kind of OCD Dutch. You know me, man. We've been together. Long. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a recovering OCD kind of guy. And I like my toothpaste tube, right? Straight and pushed up from the bottom. I roll it. In fact, my mom had one of those when I was growing up. She got me one of those. They don't even make them. It's a Tupperware thing. It looks kind of like a clothespin or whatever. And it slides uh -huh. on the bottom. And you roll it up. So all it and everything. And I don't like any pff, goo out the outside of the thing. And I, now, my wife, man, she just, she'll squeeze the thing in the middle. Stuff goes around the cap, right? And so, I mean, the first six months we were married, I'm just like, I would fix it, right? I'd fix the tube, and I'd, 
and I would clean it off the you know the nozzle, and I'd brush my face, put it back. And then the next day, I'd come back, and it would be squeezed in the middle, and junk would be on the outside. I'm just like, Rah! you know, I'm I'm trying to hold it together, and then you know. Finally, I was just like, why do you do that? She's like, what are you talking about, baby? I'm like, the toothpaste tube. She's like, what? I'm like, you squeeze it in the middle. What are you doing? She's like, I'm just trying to brush my teeth. What are you talking? So she was, she didn't know. She was just brushing her teeth. She wasn't trying to stick it to me or whatever, you know. So here I am. I'm freaking out over the toothpaste tube thinking, well, that's so inconsiderate of her. But if I was thinking about being considerate, I wouldn't be, my brain would not be on that track of she's not being considerate, which starts us down on this path of now I'm irritated. And then it just keeps building and building and building until that day where it exploded. And of course, there was a completely easy, simple solution. And it was very inexpensive. Dutch, what is that solution? Get two tubes of toothpaste. Get two tubes of, where were you in my marriage counseling class? <laughs> two tubes of toothpaste, right? So we each have our own tube now. And uh, that takes care of that problem. She wasn't trying to stick it to me. She really, she, not even wasting any time thinking about it from her perspective. And me, is driving me insane. I think that is so funny, though, man. I love it. Every time I hear it, you know, I love it. And, and But it's real life, man. It's, it's what really goes on. It what really happens. That's just one example. But, you know, everyone listening probably has their, their version of that same um, story, either the beginning or the outcome. Um, it, it, it's real. And, and, you know, sometimes we have to stop thinking about ourselves. And, and the other thing is, what are you willing and wh- how important is it to you um, that that gets fixed? And, and um, again, when we set our targets, we have to get ourselves out of the way because we are we are thinking about the other person. And it's not about our feelings, not about us. It's about them. We have to be able to remove ourselves from the situation and our own interests from the situation, even just for a moment. Right. And then, you know, and then, uh, you know, don't be like young Andrew. I mean, if you're going to have a fight, pick a good one, you know, that has a real reason. <laughs> I mean, there's like something on the line, not the toothpaste tube because it bothers you. Or there's like the old toilet seat, seat, you know, steal, is it up, is it down? You know, there's always dishes in the sink. All these kind of, these are all truths, Dutch. You always leave the toilet seat down. You always squeeze the toothpaste tube in the middle and you always leave dirty dishes in the sink. These are all truths whenever somebody says always, or you never pick up after yourself. Again, another truth. So maybe we could talk a little bit about, you know, wading through the fact and truth thing. Oh, yeah. That, and that's huge, man, because, you know, the language, man, the language is, is it can be detrimental. You know, some one small thing, man, because, you know, you always say when always is ne- always is never true. <laughs> always <laughs> is never true. You know, right. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, I think about the number of times we say that you always do this. You always do that. Or you and, never and, uh, you never pick up you after never yourself. You know, you right. Know. Right. And so when you find yourself using those words, you already know you're in trouble, especially when you're you're, you're dealing with someone who. um who's savvy with language because they're going to call you on it. So let, you know, let's focus on the truth and fact. And we've had this discussion plenty of times. It's a huge difference between uh, truth and fact. They're two completely different things. Um, but sometimes a fact can be true. I mean, a, a fact is always true, right? But a truth is not always a fact. Right, right. I had somebody commented on the blog this week. They read one of our things about truth and fact. He's, he was trying to argue with me, but he was making my point. And it was funny. He's like, uh, you, oh, I think your philosophy's long, wrong. You know, just because I say something's true doesn't mean it's a fa- right. Just because you you own the truth doesn't mean it's a fact. Just because you think is is your perception of what's going on does not mean that that's a fact. Right. Right. Like you always leave dishes in the sink. That's not a fact. That's your perception. So and, how and, could you how could you say it? And this is I, I guess what we're trying to do is teach folks how to argue, right? <laughs> right. Or have a good discussion. So instead. Here's what we, here's what, uh, this is how I would counsel you if there is something that they do, your significant other is bothering you. Just say the facts of the behavior. And let's go back to the toothpaste tube example. So instead of saying you always squeeze the toothpaste tube in the middle, right? That's a, that's mm-hmm. a truth. The facts mm-hmm. of the behavior are hey, when I picked up the toothpaste tube, it was like squeezed in the middle and junk was on the outside. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. Squeezed in the middle, the stuff was on the outside of the nozzle, right? Then I can say my truth. You know, I uh, get really upset. I feel like you're sticking it to me when I when that happens. And I love you. I love when you say when that happens because that's again you're only focusing on the time that happens. You're you're right. not saying it happens every time. And when I'm it own, happens, and I'm owning my truth. I feel I get upset. I feel upset 
See, not like you're upsetting me. See, this is this is what people, this is what we we argue. We 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 what we do is we take our truth and throw it on somebody else, and it's very accusatory. You're upsetting me. No, hey, listen, darling. Nobody can upset you but you. You, no one has any power to make you feel any way, right? So you could say I'm getting upset, but don't say you're upsetting me. Do you see the difference? Such is just too different. It's subtle, but it's huge. And you're going to tick them off. And we always uh, we're, we got about a minute and a half left in this segment. We always get to the good stuff right at the end of the segment. But <laughs> as Andrew said, we're trying to help you argue better. And, and it's not really to argue better, but to save time. Because the more time you spend in stuff that, that are not facts, the more time you're, you're getting away from the solution. You, you, we get bogged down by things that are not factual. And we get, we get caught up in our emotions and our truths yeah. and our perspectives. And, and while Andrew and I both profess that we'll let you live in your truth, we're not going to, hey, look, man, that's, that's how you want to live. That's You want to exist in that truth? Then that's on you. Is the, you, can, you can do that. But now we're talking about when two people are trying to exist in the same space. Right. And, and instead of taking offense. So that's what happens when you try to throw your truth on the other person. Uh, it, it opens up for offense. So right. And then, right. So what we want to do is minimize that because when you minimize, you know, those, uh, I'll say it this way: when you when you own your own truth, instead of taking points out of the love bank, you put points back in the love bank. And and and, and truth never gets you closer to the solution. Facts get Facts you closer do. to the solution. Absolutely. Truth doesn't get you closer to the solution. Truth causes more confusion. When you focus on the facts, as you you famously say, in court they ask for the whole. Truth. truth and, and nothing not, but the truth from right? the witnesses yes yeah, right but right. that's not reliable and it's not reliable and it's not entered into evidence unless it's a fact the facts right. are entered into evidence exactly. so if you're having a discussion with someone and you want to get to that solution quicker then let's focus on the facts let's focus on that first and it'll get us there quicker and i've got about 10 seconds left uh again every time we get to the good stuff man we're right up on a break this stuff is so so good <laughs> 